Hey, hey, it's a ferry. We're doing a test today. That right there is a brand new foam pig. My son's back there. He's going to be my shooter today, and we're going to test arrow penetration with field points. We've got a set of arrows that average somewhere in the 500s. They're all within about 10 grains of each other. Here's the chart. Stay tuned for results. We're going to do some testing against different targets. It might be fun. What do you think? It'll be fun? It'll be fun. All right. Go hang on, because it, you know, it might be fun. But dogs are not happy. So the reason why we did this test is to show you that the target actually defines the test. shooting all the arrows into the pig to test the pen average penetration for the arrow set we have. We don't really care where they hit and stuff. We just want them all in the pig. So Caleb's zinging them down there. We're three more to go. All right, we have tape measure. And we're going to go down there to the pig and see what the penetration looks like. That target's brand new, so... It's really should be stopping them pretty good. Um, let's see from the side here. Eh, we got a couple that one of them hit the two of them hit the the crease in the deal. So, so yeah, we will remove those from that. Yeah, we're gonna take those out because they didn't hit full foam. Look at this shot here. Yeah. And we got about oh our set of arrows hit, you know, depending on where they hit on the target. So I'm going to measure, should I keep it consistent? I'm going to measure off the same spot because the, the pig is not consistent. What you're measuring off. So this, oh, that spot, that's 24 inches to the end. That's our shortest arrow. Mm -hmm. Sorry, excuse me, 23 inches is our shortest arrow. And if I'm guesstimating to our furthest arrow, it's about 25 and a half inches. So, so two and a half inches difference in this pig, in this particular target. All within the same block. Yeah, yeah, we pulled the two that went in the insert, so... We're good there. All right, we're gonna pull the arrows. Okay, so earlier we said 25 inches of penetration. That's how much arrow was sticking out. Mm -hmm. That's how much, yeah. So in this target, which is brand new, it's never been shot. We were getting between five and seven inches of penetration into brand new foam. And we pulled the two that were in the crease because that's not yeah. obviously a not good stopping system. mechanism. So five to seven inches of penetration. We'll measure every one as we do each test. We'll shoot the pig mm -hmm. and then we'll measure penetration against other targets. Okay. All right. Good job, Caleb. Okay, just to clarify, here's the chart of all the arrows. I spray painted the brands off of the arrows. There's two or three brands of random stuff I had laying around. I wanted them all in the mid 500s. So they're not 400 grains, they're not 680 grains. Somewhere in the middle, they're all the same within 10 grains or so of each other. And I spray painted the brands off because people get on the messages and say, if we break one or something happens, they say, yeah, brand X has never been a good arrow. <sighs> wow, that's not the freaking test here. All right, what Caleb's gonna do is shoot the thing under the chin because I have a video of a pig test I did at the ranch under the chin. So the pig's there laying on his belly and he's gonna shoot it right here. And we're gonna measure the penetration. All right, under the chin. You got your handy dandy tape measure, sir? I got it right here. Keep it on you. All right. So, we've got our pig. First one was a flinger. Second shot is mm -hmm. right under the chin, right there. And it would have passed through back right of the right neck. The right off the top of the head. So, how much penetration? Well, you've got to pull the arrow and just grab it, and we'll measure how much shaft went in. All right, so, Put in my, red neck in it. That is right there, eight and a quarter inches. Okay. We'll call it. Yep, okay. So. And then you can compare that to when we shot it with a 
uh, single bevel um, at the ranch on a real pig, not a phone. All pig. right, so yeah. here's the clip of me shooting a 600 plus grain arrow with a single bevel 200 grain broadhead into a pig that weighs about 150 pounds. Now, the arrow platforms are not the same mass, but this is a broadhead tipped arrow. And it's kind of an arrow platform I recommend, which is a 200 grain single bevel. So, okay, you can get me on the mass. It's about 80 grains heavier. But uh, watch the results. You know, see what happens. Just guessing. When you go from field points and foam to reality, to a, to reality which is a broadhead <laughs> and a real arrow. And a real pig. And a real pig. Hey, should we test on other stuff? I think we should. Okay, let's try again. <laughs> let's do other stuff. Okay, the next test we're gonna do is, um, I'll try to stay out of the sticker burgers or whatever. We've got the cardboard box and we have our pig. So we're gonna shoot an arrow into the cardboard box or into the pig, right there. Measure the penetration and then he's gonna shoot this cardboard box and we'll see if there's any variability in the penetration because according to some people, it should be equivalent penetration. Okay. What do you think? Eight inches of penetration. Yeah, we'll call it five and seven eighths inches. <laughs> right. We got a tape measure, Caleb. I got the tape measure. Right there. I wonder what's gonna happen with the cardboard box. It's gonna be different. Wow, Caleb. Wow. That one's gonna be hard to measure. It went straight through, which is weird because it should have penetrated about half the arrow. Mm, mm, mm. I have no idea why that would happen. Okay. All right, you can see, ooh, look at that. That must be tuned pretty good. And complete pass through. Interesting. Oh, oh, and survey says. Ooh. You got seven inches to my thumb. We'll give it a good estimate. Seven, seven and an eighth, whatever you guys want. Okay. This so we, one, oh, this one's gonna be hard to <laughs> No, you can't measure it because it hit the target. It would have gone off in the woods. We're looking at it. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, yeah, my man. goodness. 51 inches of man. penetration. Weird, huh? Crazy. I have no idea why the why the box didn't stop the arrow halfway. I, I couldn't tell you. I don't know. Let's go find something else to shoot. I'm going to take the pig with us. <laughs> For our second test, we're gonna try something a little harder than a foam box. We're gonna shoot the pig, and then we're gonna shoot a dumpster, and we're gonna see what happens. I'm expecting at least a half an arrow of penetration in the dumpster because everybody knows that if you do a foam test, it's the gold standard for testing. So we're gonna test foam. We already know what the, you know, what was it, about? Seven inches. Seven inches is kind of average. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna shoot the dumpster, and we're gonna see what happens. Like I said, I'm predicting complete penetration through the metal because that's that's the way this stuff works. It's all equivalent. Okay, pig, then dumpster. Pig, then dumpster. Okay. Good shot. Right into it. 20 yards. See what happens at the dumpster. Oh. Why did it bounce off, Caleb? It should have gone halfway in. I don't know. I would have expected at least half an arrow of penetration. Oh no. That is terrible. Ooh. They got reverse penetration. It's <laughs> I don't know why that happened. I have no idea. How much penetration did we get on the foam target? Let's see. On the old Let's foam. Let's check. Uh, Ooh. Oh. Wow. Oh. About Guess seven what? inches. You mean it's consistent? Like the foam keeps the foam keeps giving us the same results. Every time. And the other targets are kind of weird. It's as if it was meant to catch arrows. It's weird. I have no idea why we could possibly get less penetration in that target. It should have penetrated. So we're gonna try one more thing. I don't know what it'll be. Some soft, some hard, who knows? Rock tree? Air? Air? No. <laughs> Next test, we went with something a lot softer. We got the pig 
remember shooting a telephone pole. It's way softer than metal, Caleb. What is softer than metal? We should get at least at least equivalent penetration, but to a foam target. There's no way it's gonna stop. It's gonna it's gonna pass through. Pig. Good shot right in the shoulder. Okay. I'm <sighs> Caleb, could you please do something with the kinetic energy or something to make it go through that telephone pole? Okay, I'm going to. Because it should penetrate at least halfway into the air, into the... Mm -hmm. Well, God, it did pretty good. Yeah, yeah. hey. You're a he-man, can you get that out of there? Who knows? I'll try my best. Let's <laughs> we'll snap it off. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh! Okay, well, we know what the penetration is. Because there's the insert. Oh, well, jeez. Oh. Um, it is literally, those are weights. That's the insert. And so the length of a, the tip, the field tip. So we got one right here. We can measure off. Ooh. That's how Ooh. you do it when you're building stuff. So this yeah. arrow, what do you, what would you know? Amazing. Seven inches. Now, so what's left in that is just this tip. <laughs> so we got half, uh, ooh, ooh, that's three quarters of an inch of penetration into the wood. Okay. I'm still baffled. I'm really baffled. Let's figure this out. I still don't know why on the earth we didn't have equivalent penetration when we changed the target. Um, more to come, so stay tuned because I'm about to make the comments that are necessary here. I know it's been a little absurd, super been fun, and Caleb is the best shot ever. <laughs> You, hey, dude, you're one of the dumpster killingest guys ever. Don't put a dumpster in front of me. It's yeah, bad, right. Bad day to be a dumpster. <laughs>
will be the same results as on animal penetration. This is why Dr. Ed's Natal study, Ashby Foundation website, it's pretty easy, just type that into the, you know, whatever search engine you use, is still the gold standard because the man shot thousands of shots with 113 or 18 data points. Ed, I should know that, but eh, a lot, more than 100 per shot into tissues because he could not find a surrogate target that duplicated the results he saw when he shot animals. These guys real, just figure out it's a, the modern world or whatever. They've latched themselves onto kinetic energy because it's the one thing that is pretty consistent out of the aero platform and shows consistency. And then they shoot a very consistent target and they know they're gonna get consistent results. And I don't care about that part. I care that in the comments sections, the public is allowed to run and go wild and it's unmanaged. If you were responsible, you would say, hey, pull back the reins, fellas and ladies. Um, you might not see the same results on animals. Not done. It's completely irresponsible. So we went out, had some fun today. It was <laughs> shooting the dumpster was absolutely delightful and uh, showed you that, hey man, if you change the target, you might get different results. So anyway, I guess that's the point of the, today's video. It was super fun to uh, blow a couple arrows up, and mess around. We were gonna test air. Everybody kind of understands that it'll penetrate air. We thought that might be a little absurd and just fire one off into a canyon, but that could be dangerous. You might hit a, you know, hit a animal that's just out there trying to live another day. All right, that's the ferry. Hey, subscribe to my channel if you want to. Follow me on Instagram at the Ranch Ferry. And there's a lot of stuff coming up like this. I'm about to go on a fishing and hunting tear. I've got a uh, second season rifle tag for mule deer in the Gunnison. That's all I drew this year, so. I'm going to go shoot one with a gun if I get the right deer in front of me because when you hunt out west, you best to apply for a lot of different weapons or you can just choose not to hunt that year if you're just one of them die hard bow hunting only kind of guys. You just get to sit out. That's no fun. All right. See ya.